All right, the next book that I got from Book Dip Fest was Starfish by Kemi Don Bowman, Bowman, Bowman. I don't know why I said that three times. Starfish by Kemi Don Bowen. Bowen. Really, Alana? Really? <laughs> Hey friends, it is me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I am going to be doing my fall haul for you guys. So I was gonna wait like a month or two to do this haul, but I managed to get a lot of books recently and there are a lot here. So what I might do is split it up into two parts. So this will be like part one potentially. And if I get any more books, then I'll just do a part two of a fall haul. Mostly because I just didn't want to end up with like all these books and then do a really long video unnecessarily so we're being smart. Most of these I either bought um, on sale so I didn't pay full price on them trust me uh, or I was given them. Either I won it in a giveaway or a publisher sent it to me so yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and just dive right into the books that I received. So the first book that I got was Unravel Me by Tara Moffey. I bought this because of a big confusing mix-up that happened in my brain and I thought I needed this for like a readathon and so I bought it and then I realized I didn't need this one, I needed the other one, so, which I'll show you in a minute. So then I was just, ha I just had this one and I was like, well, now I have the second book to shatter me and I can eventually read it whenever I need to, so. The next book I got was My Hero Academia Volume 1. So I really enjoy this anime. Uh, Deku is my favorite. I enjoy him. Bakugo is probably my least favorite. I'm so sorry for all those people who love him. I just, it's just hard to connect with him when he's so terrible sometimes. But who knows, maybe I'll, I'll develop a warm spot for him soon. I don't know. I'm only halfway through season three, so I'm not even done yet. I bought this for myself because I deserved it. So I figured I would get myself a new manga and I've been wanting to pick this up for a while. So I was like, I'll get the first volume and read it for a readathon. <laughs> the next book I got was the book that I was supposed to get instead of Unravel Me. And that was One Dark Throne by Kentara Blake. So <laughs> funny thing was I was going to read this for a readathon. I have to read this for my fall TBR actually. And I was going to borrow it from my library, but then I realized that I didn't want to read it on ebook, so I would only want to read it through audiobook if I could. And I didn't know necessarily when I was going to read it, and I didn't want to keep checking out, checking it out from the library, especially since the last one was coming out this fall. So I was like, I'll just buy this one so that way I can have it on hand whenever I like pick it up, because I wasn't sure when that was going to happen. And I would have preferred to read it physically anyway, since I read the first one physically. And yeah, so... All of that to say, I bought this. Okay, the next book that I got was Midnight Beauties by Megan Shepard. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know, this is the sequel to Grim Lovelies, which is like a Parisian vibed book about a world where beasties, witches, pretties, and goblins exist. And so it follows a beastie who whose master ends up being murdered. And so her and the other BCs have to scramble together to stop their spell from basically ending and to stop them from being turned back into animals. So this is just taking place from the cliffhanger that happened in the first book and basically ending the duology because I believe it's a duology. So I'm excited to see how this story ends. I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was like a spooky, vibey, like Parisian. I don't even know how to describe it. It was just beautiful, honestly, and I enjoyed it. I got this in a Twitter giveaway from um, Eric Smith, who is a literally, who is a literary agent. They had a giveaway going on on their Twitter, and I retweeted it and I won. So. That was fun. The next book I have is The Girl the Sea Gave Back, which is, uh, if you watched my book of the month video, this was my September book of the month pick. So super excited to read this whenever I can. The author is actually going to be at Y'all Fest, so I'm hoping to have this one and then Sky in the Deep read before then. Though I already have Sky in the Deep signed, so I would just need to get this signed, so we'll see how it goes for me. The next book that I got, which uh, is probably like the most exciting thing that's happened to me all year in regards to like my channel and like growth in my channel and yeah uh oh you just saw it um <laughs> so in case you don't know anything about my life and like you're new here which is totally possible and that's totally fine welcome 
you're always welcome here. Uh, I managed to become a penguin teen influencer, which I don't know how, but I did. And it was weird, but so cool. And I was just like, I don't know what to do. So I um, <laughs> had a moment where I was on Twitter and I was like lusting after this book. And I was like, I really want an arc of this. I would like kill, not really, but I would kill for an arc of this. And I was like, well, Penguin Teen is publishing this. What if I just emailed them? And I was like, okay, I'm gonna email them. And then I was like, if they say no, that's totally fine, but at least I tried. So I emailed. And then they sent a reply back within like 20 minutes, and I was like, it's a no. They said no. And then I opened the email and they said yes. And I was like, yay! So all of that to say in that long, weird story, I'm so sorry, but I managed to get an arc of the beautiful by Renee Adie. <laughs> Guys, this is like the most exciting thing that's happened to me. Ever, honestly like I don't I yeah my life is boring the exciting things don't happen that often to me so this is like I swear I like cried a little bit when I got this because I was just like oh my gosh the growth like the growth like I never thought that I would get this far in my channel where I could just be like hey can I have this arc nicely and respectfully requesting one and just like them saying yes and not being like who are you go away kind of thing so yeah Ooh, getting a little teary eyed now just because it's so cool I have already started it um, I haven't gotten super far just because I've been working so it's been hard to like read and not want to sleep <laughs> after work. I'm so excited to get to this because I love vampires. Twilight was my thing. Vampire Academy was my thing. Just I love, love, love vampires. And so I was super excited to learn that there was a new book coming out that was about to probably bring back the whole era. So I'm excited and I will definitely let you guys know when I finish this and hopefully have like an, a review posted or something. Let me know if you guys want me to do an individual like book discussion for this instead of just like lumping it in with the wrap up or something because I would love to do that if possible. Also, she's going to be at Yale Fest too so I'm excited to get this signed because fun. <laughs> Alright, so the next three books or the next couple of books that I have are uh, books that I got at a thrift store. Um, they're really cheap, like really cheap. So. I was like, yeah, I, I'll do it, whatever. Um, these first, or these next three books that I'm about to show you, they're all a dollar each, so I was like, I can afford that. Uh, and they are these Sailor Scout guides. Like, oh my goodness, these are so cute. They like go through and they talk about, like they inform you about the Sailor Scouts. So they tell you like their favorite outfits and their like best memories and favorite episodes that they were in and like their like, birthday and blood type and stuff like you just learn about these sailor scouts basically and i saw these and i was like i can't not not get them <laughs> i don't know if that made sense but like i was like i can't just not get these because they're adorable and now i want the last two which is sailor venus and sailor moon so that way i can have a full set and i can be that nerd and i'm not ashamed so yeah i have enjoyed these i've only read these two so far i haven't read this one yet but i mean i just they're so cute and i I am so grateful I found these. Teresa was like, what are the odds that you of all people would find these? And I was like, pretty high since I found them. The next book that I got was also part of this thrift store trip. Um, and it was The Sisters Grimm by Michael Buckley. So I actually read the first one, like this this exact book, when I was younger. And I enjoyed it. And I just never continued on in the series. Um, and so I love that like, they have new covers now for the series. And I actually really enjoy these covers, like just the color and just how like vibrant they are. Um, so I saw this and it was like not expensive. So I was like... I'll buy it and I hopefully can reread it. I would love to reread some middle grade books next year. Maybe like I'll make that a thing where I just like read some of my favorites or read some ones that I've always caught my eye that I've never like picked up or anything. So I think that would be cool to try. Let me know what you all think about that down below in the comments. But um, I'm so excited that I found this. So yeah. in case you don't know, it's about it's basically about two sisters whose parents go missing, I believe, and they move in with their grandmother and uh, they find out that their family is basically descendants of, like, the Grimm brothers or something like that. And they're in charge of making sure that, like, the Grimm fairy tales all basically, uh, don't act out. I thought it was such an interesting story, so I'm excited to reread this because I don't really remember much about it anyways. The next book I got was Suddenly Supernatural by Elizabeth Cody Kimmel which this is the second book I realized in the series, not the first one, but I was really obsessed with this series when I was in middle school as well. So I saw this and I was like, it would be really, really fun to reread this next year. Um, though again, I realized later that this was the second one, which is totally fine. I can just get the, the first one later. Uh, but I thought it would be super fun because I really enjoyed the series. It's about it's basically about a girl who, uh, I think she just moved to a new town or something and she can see spirits. And so that 
plays into like her life within each book like she has to help the spirits in some sort sort of way um i can't remember if her mom was also someone who could receive spirits too like if she had inherited it from her mom or not but i can reread it and find out we're like halfway through we're almost done <laughs> okay so the next two books that i got were also part of the thrift store haul and they are legend by marie lou and the young elites by marie lou so i've never read a marie lou book and I honestly haven't read a dystopian in a really long time, so I figured I would give this a try um, just because I've heard good things about it. And I know there's another book in this series that's coming out this year, like this fall, I think, the last one in this series, or like a reboot or a spinoff or something. I know that it's coming out. And so I wanted to try and picking this up just to see how I feel about it. Um, if I don't like it, I just give it away because I bought it for cheap. If I do like it, I can keep it and collect the others. This one, um, I had, when this first came out, I don't even remember when this came out. 2014? I don't know. It came out and I thought it sounded interesting but I never again went to go pick it up because I just it wasn't like an urge I had um, but I saw this again for cheap so I was like ooh this sounds really interesting still so why not get it and pick it up and see how I feel about it. Um, I always love stories where it's like a group of kids or a group of people like trying to do something because it's like squad goals almost and I, I just always love books like that like Six of Crows so I figured this would be an interesting one to pick up and it would be interesting to give Marie Lou a chance. Alright so the next three books that I received were from BookNet Fest. Uh, two of them were from the book swap and another one a friend gave me. So the first are two books that I got from the book swap were Listen to Your Heart by Casey West, which is an arc. I do not know how I grabbed this. It was literally a blur of madness, but I managed to get this and I'm super excited because I want to read through Casey West's books. And I think I might be budding reading this with a friend sometime soon if I haven't done it already. The next book that I received was an arc of Teen Titans Raven graphic novel um, by Cam Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo and I'm super excited to have this because I've been wanting to read this for a while since it came out and I wasn't expecting it to be an arc. I thought it was a finished copy until I grabbed it and I was like, oh, this is an arc, which is pretty cool. So I'm excited to be able to read this when I can and give you guys my thoughts. I'm also excited that this is going to be a series so I can continue to live in the world that I love so much, aka Teen Titans. Starfish by Kemi Don Bowman. I received this from Brody, from Et Tu Brody. They were doing uh, an unhaul and offered to bring some books to people uh, who wanted them at BookNetFest, and so I messaged them and asked if they would be willing to give me this one, and they said yes, and I am so grateful for them for willing to give this to me. Almost done. I swear we have four more things. Okay, so the next book that I received was Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, which... <laughs> I've never read a Jane Kristoff book, so this should be interesting, especially since the series literally just ended, or the trilogy literally just ended. So I'm interested to see what all the hype is about. I received this as a late birthday present from my friend Desiree from Libri Labra, and I'm grateful for, to her for this. Um, again, I've never read a Jane Kristoff book. I've seen people talk about this so much, so I'm interested to see what I think, and if it lives up to the hype, and if I like it despite the hype. <laughs> um, so, we'll see. Also, it's it's an adult fantasy, right? So, like, this would be new for me, because I don't think I've ever read an adult fantasy before, so... Growth. Hopefully. The next book I received was A Match Made in Mahandi by Nandini Bajpai. Hopefully I said that right. If not, I will make sure to correct myself later. I read about this in the spring of this year, and I'm thoroughly, thoroughly intrigued by it. So it's basically about a girl who discovers that she has a, a talent for matchmaking, which is really big within her culture. And so she decides to basically uh, profit off it in school. And she starts a matchmaking service through an app for her school. And like it creates this whole thing, as you could probably tell. And so I'm super excited to read this because it sounds super cute. And I love contemporary, so I'm, I'm down for any kind of matchmaking story whatsoever. And I also uh, appreciate this because of the fact that it has Indian rep, though I am not of Indian descent at all, but I am wanting to branch out more in what I read and stuff like that culturally so I was super excited to read this from an own voice author so yeah super excited to the next one <laughs> it's a little heavy I managed to buy <laughs> don't judge me the full set of the Percy Jackson books <laughs> in my defense it was already on sale at my store and I got my employee discount as well. So it wasn't super expensive or anything. I didn't pay more than $20 for it, so it was a win. And I really wanted to get this full set because I wanna work on rereading 
or I want to work on finishing the series next year. So I've read the first two books in the series, but I haven't continued on, mostly because I got nervous because something happened a lot at the end of the second book and I was like, I don't want Percy to be overshadowed and it was a whole thing. Eh, don't even worry about it. But yeah, and so I think what I'm going to do is get the first two graphic novels in this series so that way I don't have to like read through the books because I don't think I have the patience for that right now. But at least if I get the graphic novels, it'll help me like just refresh everything. And then from there, I'll start with the books onward, if that makes sense. So I think that is my plan for next year. I don't think I'm going to open this yet, honestly, until I get some bookshelves and I can put it somewhere. But I also think I'm going to wait to try and do this experiment next year because... It's September and I don't think I've I've already been doing so many things with series this year that I think I want to hold this off especially because uh, I've been working on the Harry Potter series this year with that heavy and uh, I'm supposed to continue on the Throne of Glass series this year so I was like and I'm working on Lily Bardugo like which is technically not a series but it's in the same universe so I'm gonna categorize it as technically a series uh, so I just like have too many series that I'm working on right now so I figured this would be a fun experiment to do next year hopefully if I can finish Harry Potter in time and Maybe Lee Bardugo? I don't know. But I think that's the plan I'm gonna go with. And now we are at the last book. Praise Jesus. Okay, the last book that I received was An Ark of Slay by Brittany Morris, which, oh my gosh, I can't believe I got this. I was literally giving up hope. Like, I wouldn't have minded buying the book. I'm probably gonna buy the book anyways to support the author. But I've been wanting to get this arc for a really long time. <laughs> and I've just been super, super interested in the book as people keep, like, talking about it. And I'm like, I want to read it. But I have it now, and everything's okay. I got this from my friend Natasha, who is Paperback Nat on Twitter and she was doing a giveaway for Own Voices, yeah, Own Voices, uh, book people, basically, and this was one of the options. I was, like, torn because it was between this one and another one that I really wanted to read, too, um, but I chose this one because I was, like, I am more likely to, like, watch this one right now, and so I'm grateful to her for doing that, and I'm so excited to be able to read this. I'm also excited because Brittany Morris is going to be at Y'all Fest this year as well, and so I really, really want to get this book signed. And yeah, I'll probably buy the physical book and then just get both these signed because why not? I'm that extra, so support the author. All right, so those are, that is my fall haul. That's what, that was a lot of books. You see why I like had to do this video now and then maybe do another one later. Hopefully I'm not going to get any more books, but I mean, I'm unpredictable at this point, so who knows? I also work in a bookstore now, so who knows? So if you all like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments on any of these books, whether I should read one now, whether I should wait later, whatever, whatever, please let me know down below. If you are all not good at commenting, please leave me an emoji down below. I'm still in the idea for my friend Sylvia from Wish Moment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. <laughs>